Hello and welcome to English Parliamentary News. I'm Daddy Ramadan. In this edition, we'll present all the latest and interesting information around the House of Representatives of the Republic of Indonesia. Vice Speaker for People's Welfare of the House, Fahri Hamzah, urges the government to immediately solve the lack of human resources problem in several regional government, especially after the execution of civil servant and Roman Tass. Unsatisfactory results occurred in the recruitment of civil servant candidate tests that have been recently held by the government. The number of failed participants at the basic competency selection stage has impacted to the shortage of civil servants in several government institutions, especially in the regional government sector. Vice Speaker for People's Welfare of the House, Fahri Hamza says the government has to fulfill the needs of civil servants in regional government and solve the shortfall in numbers of civil servants' problems caused by unsatisfactory enrollment test result. Mungkin pemerintah punya standar kualifikasi tertentu yang kemudian membatasi ya jumlah kelulusan. Kalau kita lihat tadi itu kelulusannya itu di bawah dua persen ya beberapa tempat itu. Nah karena itu harus ada kebijak kebijakan yang paling tidak di tahap awal dijelaskan oleh pemerintah bagaimana cara memenuhi angka yang ada itu. Vice Governor of Maluku Z Sahuburwa argues the government should have adjusted the standards of civil servants enrollment by taking into account the condition of each region. Z hopes the central government will have a special policy regarding the passing grade of civil servant candidates enrollment test that is adjusted to every region's condition. Saya kira kita akan mencoba terus supaya pada waktunya pegawai-pegawai negeri yang kita terima juga punya kualitas dengan memperhatikan situasi dan kondisi daerah masing-masing. Kalau kita di wilayah timur seperti Maluku 1340 buah pulau, itu mereka tersebar pada pulau-pulau itu. Bagaimana kualitas mereka? Bisa kita samakan dengan daerah-daerah di Jawa, saya kira tidak mungkin. Firdaus Panji, Gunarso, and Septia, TVR Parliament, report. Commission 5 of the House criticized the number of infrastructure problems in Bali, especially those concerning congestion, the crowd problems in Igusti Ngurah Rai Airport, the clean water issues which still become the dilemma for Bali regional government. Speaking after the meeting of Commission 5 of the House with the Governor of Bali, Vice Chairman of Commission 5 of the House, Lazarus, says the roads in Bali has become too packed and road problems should be the priority for the Ministry of Public Works and Public Housing. Lazarus reveals the Ministry of Public Works and Public Housing will prioritize the construction of 6 to 10 shortcut roads in Bali in a hope to reduce congestion and fasten the traffic time. Lazarus demands the state budget 2019 to be immediately realized. Pertama, Bali sekarang kita tahu sudah mulai macet. Tentu jalan ini juga prioritas utama. Tadi makanya kita minta gimana jaringan jalan, skema jaringan jalan yang akan dibangun oleh Kementerian PU yang merupakan jalan nasional, tadi juga sudah disampaikan. Tentu kami akan tindak lanjuti bentuk penganggarannya. Tadi juga disampaikan bahwa untuk shortcut dari 6-7 Sampai 8 dari Pak Gubernur ya, Tapi 10. sampai 10 sudah ada anggarannya. Dan tentu kami minta ini supaya direalisasikan di, 2000, di APBN 2019. Member of Commission 5 of the House, Novita Wijayanti, says Bali is the favorite destination for foreign and local tourists since the number of visitors will increase every year. Therefore, Commission 5 of the House supports the shortcut road construction as a commitment to support the government of Bali and the Ministry of Public Works and Public Housing in the development of Bali. Ada shortcut, kemudian juga ada waduk, dan ada irigasi-irigasi yang uh, kita ketahui bahwa di Bali itu banyak sekali terasiring atau subak-subak yang uh, membutuhkan uh, alur air yang uh, baik, kemudian juga embung, from Bali, Yasserto Denus and Septia, TVR Parliament, report. Commission 6 of the House of Representatives of the Republic of Indonesia reminds the government to anticipate corn import polemic and make sure that the import will not negatively impact state trade balance. Member of Commission 6 of the House, Supratman Andi Akta, says before issuing import policy, the government or in this case the Ministry of Agriculture and the Ministry of Trade to cooperate and synchronize the existing data to find out the real amount of corn production currently. Uh, sesuatu hal yang uh, 
uh, apa ya pemerintahan ini uh, di antara satu kementerian dengan kementerian lain itu tidak pernah sinkron soal data. Kementerian Perdagangan berjalan sendiri, Kementerian Pertanian berjalan sendiri, akhirnya membuat seluruh perencanaan pembangunan kita, terutama dengan berkaitan dengan raca perdagangan kita itu semakin timpang dan itu berbahaya buat Republik. Supratman asserts there should be no particular interest in implementing corn imports. Supratman hopes this country will be able to achieve food independency and thus reminds the president not to always depends on commodity imports. Saya berharap bahwa pemerintah ini harus sadar betul bahwa jangan sampai hanya ada orang-orang tertentu pemburu rente sebenarnya yang berkepentingan terhadap pelaksanaan impor itu. Nah ini yang harus dicegah. Inilah yang membuat selalu saya berkata di, di setiap kali kesempatan termasuk di komisi dan lain sebagainya. Bahwa negara ini harus harus kembali kepada jati dirinya. Bagaimana kita berdikari, berdiri di atas kaki sendiri terhadap eh, terutama soal bahan pangan. Mario Hasiholan, Defo and Septia, TVR Parliament, report. Commission 5 of the House of Representatives of the Republic of Indonesia deplores the sexual assault incident happening to a foreign tourist in Prawiro Taman Tourist Village area, special region of Yogyakarta. Speaking in Nusantara 4 Building, Senayan, Jakarta, the member of Commission 3 of the House, Muslim Ayub, says the sexual assault against foreign tourist incident that has gone viral is shameful and tainted Indonesia's reputation. Muslim Ayub continues, security and comfort of foreign tourists in Indonesia must be top priority since it could financially benefit the country. Kalau sempat terjadi hal-hal pelecehan yang dilakukan oleh saudara kita itu tadi, ini ibaratnya bisa menghambat turis-turis asing itu masuk ke Indonesia dan mereka bisa takut, bisa tidak ada keinginan lagi. Turis masuk ke Indonesia itu kan e, menguntungkan bagi Indonesia di dalam hal income-nya ya. Dengan turis masuk, uang dia bisa beredar dan bisa mendapat keuntungan sebagai masyarakat Indonesia sendiri. Kita berharap kita terima turis asing itu dengan baik, kita kita santu kita hubungi dia dalam arti secara kekeluargaan supaya tidak terjadi hal-hal yang tidak kita inginkan. Furthermore, Muslim calls all community, especially those in touristic areas, to maintain the security and comfort of incoming tourists since tourism sector takes a big portion of national economic growth. Ini kan menghambat ya. Saya berharap saya himbau kepada masyarakat khususnya daerah-daerah wisata Yogyakarta, Medan dan di mana saja pokoknya tempat-tempat yang ada pariwisatanya ini harus kita menjaga. Menjaga animu dari turis-turis itu, kita lakukan perbuatan-perbuatan yang baiklah. Kita kita uh, suguhi dengan santun, kita layani dengan baik. Mahir, Arif, and Septia, TVR Parliament, report. Vice Speaker for People's Welfare of the House Fahri Hamzah calls on the Supreme Court to issue explanation to the public regarding the legal base behind its verdict on the case of Baik Nuril, a teacher from Mataram who suffers from sexual harassment from her superior. Speaking at the house complex in Jakarta, Fahri Hamza scrutinizes the Supreme Court's verdict that ruled Baik Nuril as guilty over a sexual harassment incident committed by the principals of Matam 7 State Senior High School. According to Fahri, the court's judges should have first investigated the legal case filed by Baik Nuril before going through the second case. Fahri regrets the court's decision who have previously freed Baik Nuril from all accusation but turned back on its verdict and ruled that the prosecutors who won over Baik Nuril in an appeal trial. As a result, the Supreme Court's verdict has sentenced the teacher to six months imprisonment and 500 million rupiah in fine. Pasal apa yang dipakai? Pornografi misalnya. Ya kan memang ada delik penyiaran dokumen pornografi itu bisa jadi masalah gitu loh. Tapi kok ini ujuk-ujuk persoalan lain yang kemudian diputuskan dan kemudian korban menjadi tersangka. Ini nggak bisa diterima oleh akal, itu harus dijelaskan secara baik oleh juru bicara hukum kita. Fahri Hamzah demands the Supreme Court to further explain the process of legal proceeding until it reached the final verdict. He says the court must be able to give explanation and reassure the public that there has been no evil conspiracy nor any involvement of mafia of court that gives certain pressure in every process of legal proceeding in Baik Nuril case.
Yes. Ya ini kan karena sudah di Mahkamah Agung kan nggak bisa lagi. Tapi itu harus dijelaskan loh. Nggak boleh ada peristiwa hukum yang terjadi diam-diam tanpa diketahui nalarnya oleh publik. Publik harus menalar bahwa ini sebuah peristiwa hukum, bukan peristiwa kongkalokong politik apa namanya mafia peradilan. Panji Gunarsto and Afi, TVR Parliamen Report. Speaker of the House Bambang Susatyo encourages Indonesia residing abroad to contribute in the country's development by fostering the spirit of nationalism and participating in the upcoming 2019 general election. Speaking in Indonesian Embassy to New Zealand, the Speaker of the House Bambang Susatyo reminds Indonesian diasporas to foster the nationalism spirit since the contributions from Indonesia living abroad are needed in the effort to boost the growth and development of Indonesia. Bambang Susatyo says, in professional field, innovations from Indonesian diaspora are needed to create more start-up companies in Indonesia, as well as in academics, Diasporas are expected to transfer their knowledge for the country. Diaspora Indonesia di berbagai penjuru dunia dapat memberikan kontribusi nyata bagi pembangunan Indonesia sesuai dengan keinginan dan profesinya masing-masing. Saya juga berharap agar para diaspora Indonesia, walaupun tinggal dan hidup di negara lain, tetap mempunyai nasionalisme yang tinggi sebagai wujud kehidupan kita pada bangsa kita. Furthermore, Bambang Susatyo asked diaspora to become the frontier in developing good relations and partnership with foreign countries. According to him, diaspora could facilitate relation in both people-to-people -people relation as well as government-to-government -government relation. Besides that, Bambang also demands Indonesians abroad to actively participate in the 2019 general election. Setiap warga negara Indonesia, mulai dari buta huruf, tua renta, Berpendidikan, sarjana, jenderal, masuk dalam bilik yang kecil, hanya perlu dikasih waktu sedikit, mencoblos lembaran, beberapa lembar kertas, minimal lima lembar kertas yang harus dicoblos dengan foto dan nama-nama yang kecil-kecil. Jadi bagaimana dia bisa memilih calonnya yang dia, yang dia yakini. Heriadi and Afi, TVR Parliament, report. Commission 5 of the House evaluates the Land Transportation, Education and Training Center or known as BPPTD in Bali is representative enough. Commission 5 also supports the development and improvement facility of BPPTD by giving financial support to the land transportation. Speaking in the working visit to Bali province, Vice Chairman of Commission 5 of the House, Ibnu Munzir, says the BP2TD function to give assistance and knowledge regarding the test execution to the cadets as the official transportation officer in the field. Ibnu Munzir adds the solidarity of COSRA as well as its spirit and discipline had become the provision for officers while carrying out duties. Dan kalau kita lihat dari sisi penyiapan sarana, ya sarana penginapannya udah memadai ya, sangat malah sangat memadai. Kemudian juga untuk yang saya katakan tadi mengenai pengetahuan tambahan yang sifatnya teknis tadi, ya tentang kendaraan, tentang bagaimana mengemudi, tentang apa kan dilatih tadi. Malah ada simulatornya kan, nah, itu saya kira cukup bagus. Member of Commission 5 of the House, Sadares Tuwati explains, Every year, the Land Transportation Education and Training Center has been getting better as the number of students also increases. Sadar Estuati appreciates the training program provided to the people, such as one program that results in producing parking attendants. She expects the Transportation Ministry could provide similar programs in other regions. Dari tahun ke tahun sudah cukup bagus, begitu juga uh, jumlah Uh, siswanya juga sudah cukup banyak, lebih banyak. Dan yang lebih terpenting saat ini sudah ada kegiatan uh, untuk memberikan diklat kepada masyarakat. Ya, seperti kemarin ada juru parkir, ini menjadi sangat uh, sangat bagus sekali. From Bali, Yasir Todenus and Afi, TVR Parliament, report. And that rounds up this edition of English Parliamentary News. On behalf of all the crew of TV Parliament, we would like to thank you for your attention. We we'll meet again in the next edition of English Parliamentary News. From me, Dede once again, thank you for watching and goodbye.